This right here is a ringneck snake. And man, isn't this a cool looking snake? Look how bright his belly is. Isn't that unbelievable? It's crazy, you look at the top of him and he's kind of like that slate gray. You're like, oh, that's kind of a boring snake. And you flip him over. Wow, that's brighter than almost any snake that lives around here. That is definitely a cool snake. Uh, this is kind of a secretive snake. You know, they're really, really common throughout most of the range. But people like hardly ever see him unless you're out looking for him. And it's because it's, it's, it's what's known as a fossorial snake. And it means he lives underneath things for most of his life. Uh, rocks, and actually we found him underneath this piece of tin here behind us. And, uh, you know, we were looking for prairie king snakes flipping tin in this field. You know, I didn't think we'd see a ringneck snake, but sure enough, this guy was underneath one. And, uh, you know, they spend most of their time underneath stuff like that, looking for worms and, uh, you know, small invertebrates like that, little beetles and spiders and stuff, because that's pretty much what they eat for their entire life. And this looks like a pretty small snake, but, uh, you know, ringnecks don't get a whole lot bigger than this. They, you know, a little bit bigger, but it's definitely not a huge, huge snake. Uh, very, very cool find. Actually, this is an extra special find for me because this is a location that I've literally been coming to for almost my entire life. And, you know, I've never, ever seen a ringneck snake here, despite how unbelievably common they are in Illinois. And then today, we found a ringneck snake. So this is actually my first ringneck snake at this location. And uh, that's, that's really cool for me. Uh, very, very awesome snake. You can see he's called the ringneck snake because he's got a little ring around his neck there. And uh, when he's threatened, he'll actually coil up his tail here. He'll sit, you know, with his gray side up and coil that tail and show that bright orange on the tip of his tail there. And uh, it's just kind of a threat. It's supposed to warn predators that uh, he's venomous, even though it's a completely harmless snake. But it, it works. Apparently, it's pretty effective because he, you know, natural selection hasn't selected him to go extinct yet. But uh, very cool snake. Neat to find one for the first time. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn him loose. But... Uh, very, very cool stuff. All right, buddy, turn it back loose underneath here. Squash him. 